Happy Halloween, everybody! Happy Halloween! Hey, it's the Awesome Dan here, and welcome to my second Halloween special. Last year, for Halloween, my little special, I played the PT slash Silent Hills demo, and figured, I figured, why not do something similar to that last, this year? So this year, we're going to be doing the sort of special successor to Silent Hills slash PT called Outlast 2. So... I have no idea what Outlast 2 is about. I mean, I played the first Outlast, what has to do with a reporter going into a, a crazy psycho mental hospital filled with psycho crazy bullshit ghosts and crazy bullshit people that just want to cut your fucking face off and shit. Ugh. Oh, Outlast is actually one of the scariest games I ever played. And that was saying a lot, because I played a lot of scary games. And Outlast definitely took the cake when it came to horror and came to exploration. So with Outlast 2... I don't know when Outlast 2 comes out. I just figured out we had we had a demo yesterday. I was like, hmm, it'll make a great Halloween special. So basically, I have no idea what it's about, but given just by the title, it has to do something with the Antichrist or Christianity. Cause you see the T, like the the first T in Outlast is shaped like an upside down cross. If I remember correctly, that means that's the sign of the Antichrist. And you see like how all the symbolism of the cross is like throughout the game, like just by looking at the the title screen, boom, there's like two crosses there. That lead me to believe that Christianity, or the concept of Christianity, takes a big part in this game. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great Halloween, and let's get into this Outlast 2 demo. Welcome to the Outlast 2 demo. You are Blake Langerman. Oh, a cameraman working with your wife, La Hype Lynn? Working with your wife, Lynn. The two of you are investigating a journalist willing to take risks into a deep, or well, dig deep to undercover the stories no one else dares to touch. Yes, that's, that's the first sign you know shit's about to get real. When you're like, oh, I'm investigating a journalist, and I'm gonna investigate things that no one else wants to investigate. Don't you really think that there's a reason why nobody wants to investigate it? I mean, you know, possibly because there's gonna be a bunch of shit in this game that's gonna try to chase you down and rip your face off. I mean, that's a big reason why people don't want to investigate this shit. You're followed. You're following a trail of clues that started with the seemingly impossible murder of a pregnant woman known as Jane Doe. Oh, uh, see, already this game's getting fucked up. I mean, the first Outlast was fucked up, like getting your fingers cut off, like having a crazy dude try to turn you into a woman by cutting you in half. It's oh my goodness. The investigation has led you miles into the Arizona desert to a darkness so deep that no one can shed light upon it. And the corruption so profound that going mad may be the only sane thing to do. Okay, so already this game says we're gonna take Outlast, we're gonna inject it with shit tons of horror steroids, and boom, Outlast 2. I really want to see what's gonna be chasing us this time. Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Okay. Tell me when we're good. We're good. Okay, uh, we're, we're good. We're good. We're Two good. weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering barefoot. Pregnant oh. and alone on a barren stretch of highway, a hundred miles from the nearest. From nearest what? The fuck? What the fuck? Did you see that? I can't see anything. Oh my gosh! A flaming cross! Oh my gosh! What the fuck's happening? You guys hear that? So what the? <gasps> Outlast 2. You saw those, you saw those eyes? The fuck? Okay, so, did anyone hear the whole plane crash shit? Did anyone else hear that? I, or is it just me? Okay, this sounds so wrong. There is... It sounds very, very... Uh, uh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, she's grabbing something, dude! Oh, shit, my glasses! My glasses! I need my glasses! That's, that's literally me without my glasses. I if I take off my glasses, that's literally how I see things. It's such a giant blur. I'm like, oh, I need my glasses. You see? Is the damage? Is it good? We all good? We all good? Wipe it, wipe it. The bubble does the lens. Okay. Okay, we're, we're stranded. No, the plane crash. My camera is expensive as shit. See my expensive ass camera. Alright then. Okay, come on, are we gonna, are we gonna... Okay, that's not me walking. Okay, I guess we got a limp. Okay, raise your camera, press R1. This is a big concept in... This is a big concept in the first Outlast. 
the whole using your camera to see. Because the first Outlast was dark as shit. It was Lit. meant to be dark as shit. In order to see, you had to use your camera like this. You actually basically use your night vision goggle camera, which is which was a very great concept. Because it was like you have a limited like you have limited batteries, so you had to like pick and choose what you want to use your camera on, and that was really great content of the whole horror aspect. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Um, I'm lost. Um, excuse me. I'm I hurt. Have the plane crashed. I need some help. Jammed. Um, okay, maybe it's no way home. Okay, maybe no way home. So okay, so what I can gather just by that whole intro thing. Oh, run, Alfred. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need this shit. I'm definitely gonna need this shit. Ow, what the? Oh shit. Ow, I just ran straight to the cactus. Ow, fuck you, cactus. Okay, so as far as I, if this play, if this like has the same concept as the first Outlast, then yeah, okay, that regenerate health. There's no such thing as health kits. We would. Did you, did you hear that? Is anybody there? Excuse me. Um. Please. Hello. Um, I need, I need some help here. Oh shit, my battery. Ah, battery. Give me the battery. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay, that's, that's gross. Okay, I don't know if this is a good tip to give, because I did it a lot in the first Outlast, but I never, oh, I almost never re- What? Um, oh, oh! Excuse me! Um, okay, but I don't know if this is a good tip to, ha to give, but I did it a lot in the first Outlast, so I didn't really see that big of a problem with it, but you don't really- Oh, shh. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Who's? Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. A little help. Are you? Are you not gonna help? I just gotta walk. Okay. You know what? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, then. But usually when um. Jesus. Okay. You don't let me load the battery. No. See, that's a big thing to do. Like, you don't really have to reload the battery as much because when I put the first out last, I almost never replenished the battery, and I was fine. With the night vision goggles, I was fine. With Hey, excuse me! Hey! Excuse me! Wait a minute! Hey! Wait a minute! Excuse me! Hey! 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 I need some help! You son of a bitch! Fuck you then! Just fuck you then! What's over here? Oh shit! Oh! 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 I like how you're like swatting away the flies and all that. Okay. Okay. So back back to the tip thing. Uh, basically, when I put the first out last, I never replenished my batteries, and I was fine when it came to, like, the, the night vision shit, because, yeah, even though, like, it blickered, and, like, it went in and out a few times, but it didn't really, like, destroy the gameplay at all, it didn't really disrupt the gameplay at all, it just made it just a little bit more difficult, but not to a point where I couldn't, like, play at all, where, okay, who the, who is this dude? Okay, you know, I went to Sunday school when I was younger, and I'm pretty sure... He's not a saint that I know. Pretty sure he's not like any of the saints that I remember reading or learning about. I can hide? <gasps> yes! Hide! This is a big concept of Outlast that I love. I love what game through this. This in Alien Isolation that does perfectly the whole hidden feature. Where you can't fight back, all you can do is run and hide. And that is what I love in a horror game. Where you just hide like you know that it's so like so badass that you can't just like kill it. You just like have to run hide. And that's what love and horror. Cause that really brings on the scare factor. Um, excuse me! Oh, open a window? Okay, that brings on the scare factor. Cause oh! 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 Fuck, fuck you, Raven! Fuck you! That really brings on the good scare factor because think about it, if you play a horror game where you can kill whatever it is that's chasing or killing you, it really takes you out of it. Cause when you see it, you're not like, oh my gosh, there it is. I gotta think of a way to get around it. I gotta think of a way to do it. It's like, oh. There it is. Looks like I have to kill it again. It's, it really takes you out of it. It really just like makes you like wonder what's really the big threat. Because yeah, the atmosphere is chilling, but you know, if you can just kill whatever it is that's trying to kill you, then what's really the scary point of it? <sighs> okay. Is anyone else out there? I can use some help. So what I can gather from the story, just by the intro, just by what I gather from the intro and what they told me, what I think. It has to do with the pregnant woman, um, given the fact that all these crosses are like a big thing in this game, and there's like a giant flaming, like, upside down cross, what I can gather, I don't, I don't know if this is exactly what's happening in the game, but what I can gather is that the pregnant woman 
was pregnant with the Antichrist, and she gave birth to it, and the Antichrist was doing some weird shit in this town, and this whole town is like, I don't know, Satan believer or something like that? Cause there's like a lot, so you, ha you can't deny that there's a lot of cross here that has to do with the game. Because there won't be shit here that's not going to be relevant to the story of the game. Oh my gosh, what the? You see this, see? See already, see? You see, you, can you can't deny, see? Cause, see? Because if you ever, like, if you ever went to Sunday school, or if, you know, if you're, if you believe in the Catholic religion, and, or if you believe in Jesus Christ, you know that Jesus was born, uh, you know, in a stable. And I'm pretty sure the stable, they would have hay, and that's where, you know, they they gave baby Jesus as a bed with hay, and what the fuck? I'm pretty sure it's not as fucked up as this, I'm pretty sure it was more, you know, not like this, I'm pretty sure it was more simple and not, f oh my fucking gosh, oh, are those, are those kids? Are those the bird body of, oh my gosh! Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, oh my God! See, this game's already getting high in the fucked up scale. This game's already getting high in the fucked up scale. Um, investing in the well. Haha, <laughs> you would have thought. Oh shit, no, no, I don't want to investigate this well. No, I don't want to let it out. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Okay, um, excuse me, excuse me, um, I want to investigate the well, but it's not like me. Excuse me, hello, anything down here? Anything? Oh, oh, what the fuck got me? Get the fuck up. What the fuck? I'm trying to go I'm not with this. I see that enough head time to know where this is going. Oh my gosh, what the? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute, wait a minute, it turned to... Outlast 2 to fucking a, a tentacle head die to fucking Mal Gear Solid. Oh, okay, you know what? This game is just. Oh. I've seen enough head time to know where that shit was going. Okay. We can do this. Okay. We can left. Yeah, I'm scared too. Are you fucking serious? I just got tentacle grabbed by a tentacle head die monster. Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Oh. Oh. Fuck. Ow! Oh. Ow! The fuck? So that's what. Okay! That's what it looks like! Okay, I did not know that's what it looked like in school, but. Cool! I always want, I always want to do that. Like, in school, I, always, I, like, I secretly always want to, like, climb the vents and just, like, fall <laughs> snake around the place. Um, I probably can't do that because I probably had the same fate as this guy did, like, fall through in the middle of class. And knowing my luck, I'll fall. Right in the class I'm supposed to be. Like, I'll fall in right in the class I'm supposed to be in. I'm just gonna be like, Hey, guys! Um, is this the lunchroom, or... Oh, wait, what? Let me open it. What the fuck? Hold, hold, yeah, press and hold. Oh, oh, that move... Okay, move backwards, okay. Yeah. It's so fucking dark. The fuck is it so fucking dark? Excuse me, anyone? Teacher? Miss? Uh, the principal? Help! Ugh. All right here. No. Okay. Let me get out there. Teacher. Um. Teacher. Principal. Dean. Anybody? I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that shit. I will pretend I did. You know what? You know what? I I kind of I kind you know I just wanna go back. I just wanna let me just uh. Let me just close this. Shit. Okay. Let's see here. You gotta sit here and just, oh shit, it's too, okay, um, I'm the teacher now. Alright, alright class, so today we're gonna be learning about how to survive this shit 101. Uh, basically what you do is, you stay in the classroom and you do not fucking move. <laughs> but I'm a dumbass, so I'll have to go anyway. Alright, don't, don't worry, don't worry students, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back to teach you all the true meaning of Christmas. What the fuck's in here? Jessica. Oh, I'm not with this. I am not with this. Oh, I'm not going like this. Don't do it slowly, dude. Do it fucking fast as shit. Come on. Don't pop out. Don't pop out. Don't pop out. Don't pop out. Oh. 
Damn! I was so expecting shit to have pop out. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, get me out, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here, please! No! Don't help me! Come on, please help me! Come on, help me! No! Stop! 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 Open up! Open up! Open up! Wait! <coughs> oh god! The girls are choking me! Read it out the batteries! Read it out the batteries! Stop it! Please stop it! Please! Please stop it! I'm not with this! I'm not with this! Please! I am so not with- Ooh! Ooh! Battery! Battery! Okay, I am with this battery, but I'm not with this ghost shit. Okay? I'm not with this ghost shit. <laughs> but I really hope this is what Silent Hills will have been like. I really hope that Silent Hills wasn't cancelled. That this will game will- <laughs> into the light I'm going into the light guys what the fuck what the what did it say it said open okay I thought it said hide I'm like yes let me hide um Silent Hill yeah come on oh come on you have to admit Silent Hill come on Silent Hill we're in Silent Hill guys Imagine that spoiler alert, we're not playing Outlast 2, we're actually playing another demo of Silent Hills. I, I really hope, I really hope there's a second demo of Silent Hills. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'll be so happy if I get... Jessica. No, how about we just... No, she, Jessica's dead, dude. Jessica's dead. We're in Silent Hill, Jessica's dead. Mm -mm. She's dead or a demon, you're a pick. Either way, I'm not going near that shit. Either way. Anything, anything? I w by this point, I will have taken like a coffee mug and like a weapon. I will have taken like a fucking stapler and use that shit. I will take a chair and use that shit as a weapon. I'll be like, uh uh, I swear to fuck that shit and I can back the fuck up. I can back the fuck up. What the? Oh, what? Oh, God. Yes. I told you, dead or a demon. I told you, see, I, I can't. No! I am not with that tentacle head die shit. I am not with that. I am not with that. I'm gonna stick to the walls, bitch. I'm gonna stick straight to the walls. Stick to the walls, dude. Shit. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna go here, open the door. Please don't tentacle rape me. Oh! Okay, no, no! Ah! Help me! Help me! Oh, fucking! Ugh. Get the fuck off me! Oh, oh shit! Ow! Oh, fuck the stairs! Oh, I'm going down! Oh. I'm out this bitch, man! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, I got stabbed in the mouth! Okay, round two, ding ding! I'm out of this bitch! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Into the cornfields, go! Went for the extent. Oh! Fuck! Shit, 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 shit. Fuck! Oh my gosh, what the fuck? You leave me alone! Leave me alone! What have I done to you? Okay. Okay, I don't know where the fuck to go. Come this way, come this way, hide! Oh shit, oh shit, he's coming this way! Oh shit! Go away! Please go away! Please go away! He's gone? He's gone? Oh shit, no! The princes of Babylon shall clothe themselves with trembling. What? What? They shall sit upon the ground. What? Okay, 
Okay, I think he's gone. We're gonna wait. Ooh, I'm gonna, oh, I was about to get up. I was about to literally get up and start getting running, but like, shit. Okay. We're gonna wait 10 more seconds. Nobody comes in in 10 seconds. We're getting out of here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're good. That's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, gently, gently. Let go. All right. We're ah! 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 Go! 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 <laughs> Where are you going? Where the fuck was I going? Go, 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 bye, bitch. Bye, bye, Felicia. Bye. Oh, shit, wrong move. Go, go. You'll never touch me. You'll never take me alive. You'll never take me alive. I'm out of here. Peace. Slab, bitch. Slab. I'll fuck off this. I'm about to pick him up. No! 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 Please! No! Please! Please! Oh my dick! Oh my dick! No! No! Oh my god! That was the scariest. I was even more fucked up than Santa Hills. Okay, guys. Okay. That was Outlast 2. I, I really want to play this game when it comes out. Oh, I'm so going to do a series on this game when it comes out. I'm actually super excited to play this now. I really want to know what the fuck just happened. What the fuck? So, happy Halloween, everybody. Leave in the comment section. What are you guys are dressing up as for Halloween? Like, what do you dress up as? For me, I dressed up as the Punisher from Season 2 of Daredevil. I dressed up as him. I shaved my head. I did the makeup so it looks like, I'm, like I've been beaten up. I'm, you, I'm painting my, uh, <coughs> I'm painting my jacket black. And I have, the, I already had the Punisher shirt. So I have the Punisher shirt, painted my jacket black. I'm doing the makeup on my face to look like I've been beaten up and all that. I'm shaving my head to the same style that they did in Season 2 of Daredevil. But I want to know, what did you get just about Halloween? Hope you guys have a fun Halloween. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and comment. And you guys are just, oh, uh, you guys are the best. You guys are amazing. I really, I really want to know. Also, leave it in the comment section. What's the scariest game you ever played? What's the scariest game? It could be a game, demo, movie. What's the scariest thing that you ever played or watched? Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and click the subscribe button. And see what, guys. Next time, we, well, next time you see me in Outlast 2, we'll be starting part one of Outlast 2 when the game fin when it finally comes out. I'm not sure where it comes out, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So stay awesome, everyone, and have a marvelous, spooky Halloween.